Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made our way halfway, well a bit more than halfway up Daffodil Peak, got the mountain climbing permit, started looking for the mountain sage and fought off Kamek's curse. This time though we are going to finish off our journey up Daffodil Peak. So look at that, there's already a mini paint star up there. Well, I guess that was pretty darn quick. You may be wondering why I ended the episode off so early. Well, that might be because I want to do quite a few other things back in some previous levels. Who knows? We'll only find out once I get there. And look at that. There's another mini paint star. Which means we have to climb all the way back up the mountain to get the second one. Yay. Fun. Now, I'm not going to grab the mini paint star here. I just want to head through this pipe. Because there's something interesting over here, namely a giant colorless spot and a colorless line dump. Anyway, coloring in this gives us a one-up mushroom, which I will probably use during boss battles or maybe in the end of the game, really. You don't just need to use them that often. Towards the end of the game, you'll probably use them more often if you have a lot of cards that you don't color in. But, heading over here, I highly recommend you take care of this enemy. I'm surprised that wasn't a back attack. Thank goodness, because back attacks don't exist. Now, I'm showing this fight because, dang it, this may as well be a required fight. I'm not joking. This fight sucks. Not because you have to do it. In fact, if you're really good, you can avoid this fight entirely. But just because it's annoying to avoid, so it's just better to take care of it. Whoa, perfect bonus. Nice. Pop slippers, you still suck. I could have done that much easier with the jump and even messed some of the action commands. But the reason why I recommend you come over here first is because this here, we need to paint this in because although yes it is an unfurl block, or a block with an unfurl mark on it, we needed to paint it before we get the unfurl block. Otherwise it would have been a big waste of time. Anyway, you can climb on the pipes over here to get these. I don't want to fight you! <laughs> Okay, fight avoided, but sadly I could not avoid the worn out dump. That's okay, I, I just used a worn out jump window. Okay, I thought he was gonna get me, that's why I was being quiet. All good though, we got those areas cleared up. Those, I, that's how I'm gonna pronounce that now apparently. So heading through here though, this pipe is a bit more special because... There's just a Koopa Trooper hanging out in it. Well, let's waste that worn out jump I just got. And you know what? I'll waste the worn out hammer too. Because I really don't need it. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And the hammer, I'm not sure if it's dying from lack of color or... No, that was definitely lack of color. Now to head to the light at the end of the tunnel. And that should maybe be all but one colorless spot. There might be one up near the yellow paint star there, but let's hurry to the block. I saw that say 0 0.01 there, even though I clearly hit it already. Anyway, I just, I told you guys I'd let you hear the full theme, it's just so boppy. Anyway, up here, we found him, the legendary mountain sage. Ho ho, well met Mario, I'm the mountain sage of Daffodil Peak. Bahaha, <laughs> just playing. I'm just a regular old toad, sorry to get your hopes up. I paid all that money for a permit and then busted my shroom all the way up here for nothing. But on the bright side, I did get to see one of those mini paint star things. 
And you can't beat the view from up here. Anyway, happy trails! So there is no mountain sage? Shenanigans! We've been had! Mario, let's go give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind! After we grab the mini paint star, of course. Sure thing, Yui, let's go! Quick, we have to show him. Come on, I'm ready to fight him. And... Okay. Now this is usually when I get the first token for the Rochambeau Temple. But, hey, we got it super early. In like four episodes ago, or well, whatever it was. But that has also unlocked a path to Sun Glow Ridge, which we will check out, don't you worry guys, but we're not done in Daffodil Peak. We have to let the gatekeeper know a little something. I didn't have 100% of the colorless spots too, so I definitely missed something on the way up the mountain. Let's go to Daffodil Peak and give that lion gatekeeper a piece of our mind. You said it, Huey, let's go. Okay, come here, come here. Hey, liar face! There is no mountain saint! You just made it up to sell tickets to your boring mountain! Whoa, whoa, keep your lid on! The mountain saint isn't real? I'm as disappointed as you are! What? You thought he was real too? Yes, I believed in my heart of hearts that the mountain sage was real! Though I can't remember why I was so convinced. Come to think of it, I can't remember anything before accepting this gatekeeper job. Last thing I remember is the park ranger bringing me here after finding me stranded on the mountaintop. And it was the ranger who said the mountain sage was real. Do you think he lied to us? Hold on a minute, I didn't lie to anyone. There is a mountain sage here, I've seen him with my own eyes. Really? Because we just hiked all the way to the peak and all we found was some cheesy carnival cutout. Hey, kids love that cutout. Look, I haven't seen the sage in a while, but he used to train on the mountaintop. You've got to believe me! If rumours get out that I made up the mountain sage thing, my business is done for. Hmm, I don't know. I think both of these guys are telling the truth. The truth, yes. I'm not lying. Swear on my spores. Now let's just keep this quiet and try to find the mountain sage. I wonder what happened to the mountain sage. My mind's a complete blank. I've got no idea. Maybe this is the colourless spot I was missing the whole time. Eureka! I remember everything. The colour missing from my head must have damaged my memory. I am one of the chosen toads, the divine few imbued with great power. I spend my days training on the mountaintop, waiting for my destiny to take shape. You train on the mountaintop? So that means... Yes. I am the Sage of the Mountain. Great! So there really is a Mountain Sage. But you lost your memory? Are you still able to use the power of the Chosen Toads? Good question, young one. Behold the power of the Chosen! Usually we chosen toads aren't meant to use our power for such savagery, but I have some aggression to work out today. They must have snuck up and drained my head while I was meditating. The miscreants. Well, colour me impressed. Remind me to stay on your good side. Hey, do you know anything about the big paint stars? We're looking for them. The world is vast, young one, and I am but a toad. I've seen no such paint stars, but it is a chosen toad's duty to serve those in need. Our paths have crossed for a reason, there's no doubt about that. Perhaps I'm the key to unlocking your true potential. No. It turns out that I'm just the key to unlocking some random door. Well, okay, I guess. I'll meet you at the Crimson Tower, young one. Oh man, now I have to find a new gatekeeper. Well, I guess I've been demoted. Thanks a ton, Mountain Sage. 
Okay, I kind of want to climb back up the mountain though. I do have another mini paint star to collect. So I'll see you guys up there. Okay, so back up near the top of the mountain. I'm going to jump down a little bit back to this bonus mini game because we still have a few colors left. But there's a bonus color. If you have done a level and cleared a door, there is a new colored door to... I would have taken it if it was red or blue because I haven't seen them. But why did it have to be the yellow one? Okay, I'm trying to get the rainbow door because this only appears if you've already completed a door. Any one of the three doors, it doesn't matter what color. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at timing this. There we go. Finally! This door will appear once you leave the level and come back. And this door is... something quite special. Pain Hunter, you've entered an alternate dimension of invisible things. Reveal as many things as you can within the time limit. So we have a time limit to hit practically everything that may have been here with our paint hammer. So we're gonna be fairly just like spamming our hammer everywhere we go. I'm not typically good at these, but I'll try my best. Now, it's not how big the things you reveal are, it's how many you reveal. So yeah, try to just be quick and hammer everything. Of course, the bigger things do tend to be more obvious thanks to, well, Look, you saw those trees. You, you knew where they were. And that only gave us a coin. What happens if you leave the room? Nothing, you can't leave the room. Um, flower? Okay. Now you can go left as well to the house. I believe it might be a different level every time. It might not be, I'm not sure. But for each one, you get 10 coins. Which is pretty decent, but in my opinion, all of the other mini games are better. That one's certainly the most creative, but I still prefer doing the other ones. Anyway, it's time for us to get our red mini painster that has been long awaited. Just running on the pipes, not falling off because invisible walls. Thank you, game. Trying not to go in that pipe or letting the spiny get me And Yes, course clear! Now I believe the Rochambeau token number two. Again, they are random when you finish the level after a certain point. What point that is, I have no idea. The bus. This takes us back to Ruddy Road. And the Rochambeau token, where does that take us? Somewhere with the, where we can cannot access it. Thank you, game. Anyway, there are eight temples in total, but we got 100% of the color spots here. Thank goodness. So now I think we can do one more thing quickly. Let's go to Sun Glow Ridge, the other yellow paint star level. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. Welcome to the Scarlet Gate, Mario. Although it's not so scarlet anymore. No, I'm afraid that its bold red color has been drained. Also, it's locked. What am I supposed to call it now? The plain gate? The vanilla gate? Just adding gate to another word seems kind of dumb. I'm guessing it would open until we repaint it. Yeah, but that's a big paint job. I don't even think my whole squad could get it done. What, all four of you? No, I don't think so either. My squad! I'm late! The squad leader's gonna shish kebab me! Toad number two of the Purple Rescue Squad reporting for duty! That is all of them now, but there's no way we can do this paint job alone. Let's f just focus on finding more paint stars. We can deal with this later. So this is... Our first big barrier preventing us from moving on to other levels. But I'm sure we can fix that once we have, at the very least, got the first of the big paint stars. 
But with that, all the purple rescue squads have gathered in Ruddy Road. So with that, guys, next time we are going to be heading to the Ruddy Road using the purple rescue squad to reach beyond to get the other mini paint star we are missing there. As well as returning to Blue Bay Beach to find the one colorless spot I missed. And also check out on that toad who wanted to sail to the edge of the world. And make some final preparations before heading onwards to the Crimson Tower. This has been Spiraling Helix. I will see you guys next time everybody. Bye bye.